Hi everyone, Aaron Brooks with Perfect Postures. Um, today I'm going to talk something a little bit different. Now, I'm not talking so much about pain, but I do want to talk about a really important muscle in the human body um, called the iliopsoas. psoas. A lot of people just call it the psoas muscle or people, a lot of people just call it the hip flexor muscle. Um, one of the things that I recently saw in the, uh, the gym that I belong to um, I saw a couple people stretching, and I know they were stretching hip flexors out based on the exercise that they were doing. Um, and basically, it was, what it was was just this this kind of stretch where you lean forward into it, where you get a stretch in the hip. Let me uh, let me give you just a quick little uh, anatomy lesson about the psoas muscle. So the psoas muscle, it's really important because it does cross from front to back of your body. It is your primary hip flexor muscle, and it's also a really important muscle in regards to stabilizing your low back. So, so it is, without question, one of the most important muscles in the human body. So basically what happens is that this muscle attaches right here to this little knob on your bone, on your femur bone, and then it blends in with the iliacus through the, um, through the pelvis here, and then crosses up and attaches all the way from your your 12th thoracic vertebrae all the way down to your 5th lumbar. So what that means is it attaches to T12 and then to your L1, which is your lumbar, your first lumbar, L2, L3, L4, and L5. So um, it's a critical muscle. And again, I, as I just explained, there's so many functions to it, and, and it's critical for low back health. So I'm going to show you something, um, a modification to, the, to an exercise that a lot of people do for their hip flexors. They always think that they need to stretch it out. Um, yeah, it's, it's important to keep it mobile or stretched out, but also it's really important, if not even more so, to, to strengthen it. And a lot of people, they go, oh, I have tight hip flexors. Well, you have tight hip flexors because they're tightened in a faulty position. And unfortunately, a lot of us sit all day long and there's going to be a passive shortening. However, it's shortening, but it's shortening, at, in my, at least in my um, eyes, it shortens more at one attachment point more so than another attachment point. So um, one of my philosophies is that muscle doesn't have to always be tight, the whole muscle tight. I really think that it, it can be tighter in certain areas than, uh, than others. So what I want to show you is, I'm move this guy out of the way. So again, this is the hip flexor stretch. I'm going to show you from a kind of like a diagonal view here. What you want to do is you want to get really tall first. And, and what you're trying to do there is you're trying to elongate the, the lumbar vertebrae and almost trying to like pull them apart. You're, so you're thinking about elongating all the way tall through here. And then from there, you want to just tuck your pelvis under. So you want to tuck it this way, like a dog basically pulling its tail between its legs. So you want to tuck under. Now, that alone, you should feel a pull here. A lot of times in the gym, again, you see these people that get into it and they're, they're way out like this. Now, what's happening is, yeah, you may feel a stretch a little bit in your hip here, but you're doing nothing for, like I showed you, the attachment points of where it attaches to your low back. So uh, once again, get really tall, tuck your pelvis under, and just hold that position. You want to hold that. We hold it for about a minute, and then switch sides and do the same thing with the other side. So um, I would give that a shot. And you know, if, if you're training with some friends or family members, you see them doing that, just, just you make that modification. You're going to get a lot more benefit out of that exercise. So stay tuned for next week. We'll have some more uh, tips, and uh, I'll answer some more questions. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Shoot us an email. Thank you.